The Zuri Cell Expansion System, W25, delivers an automated, controlled expansion environment for the growth of cell therapies in volumes up to 25 liters across research, process development, and manufacturing operations. A single-use bioreactor cell bag can be used on the rocking platform to produce those cell therapies. I'll show you how to unpackage and set up this cell bag. To unpackage the Zuri cell bag disposable bioreactor, you'll cut open the bag. And this is the inner packaging. You'll take off the outer packaging outside of the BSC. You'll unload and discard your bag. You'll then check all of your lure connections as they may become loosened during gamma irradiation. You'll then remove the bubble wrap around the two filters. and around the port on the waste bag. You'll then also want to check those lure connections as well. You also have a DO sensor and a pH sensor, and we'll leave those bubble wraps on until we get outside of the BSC. Your cell bag is now ready to be installed on the W25 rocking platform. So now we'll connect the pH and the DO sensors to the bag. This is on the back of the cell bag. You'll have a sensor that looks like this and you'll remove the bubble wrap and connect the sensor. And then you can fully remove all the bubble wrap and you'll do the same for the DO sensor as well. You can now connect the cell bag to the rocking platform. To install the cell bag, you'll first remove the cover off the W25, and then connect the cell bag onto the rocking platform by putting the rods into the upper and lower clips. You'll then want to connect the filter heater onto the filter with the check valve on it. There's two parts. There's a base and then the actual filter heater. Connect the base first, and then open by clipping and insert onto the filter heater. You'll then connect your gas mix out line into your air inlet port filter. You'll then connect the pH and DO sensors to the front of the CBCU. Next, connect the pump tubing on the feed and the waste lines into the peristaltic pump. Be mindful of the way that the arrows direction uh, so that if you're going to connect the feed line, to this pump here, you would actually connect it so that it would feed from the left-hand side and then into the bag this way. And then close. For the waistline, you're going to directly connect it left to right so it goes from the cell bag into the waste bag. Next, you place the cover back onto the rocker and engage with the unicorn to fill the cell bag with CO2 and air. To start a manual run within Unicorn, you can click on any of the buttons listed. We're going to click on Gas Flow, and this will prompt you to name your run and define the bag size. We're just going to call this Manual Run, and we have a 2-liter cell bag. Once you hit OK, the prompt that you want to start will turn on, and you'll see that the gas flow will start. You can tell because it's green. You'll also want to enable Fast Fill, which will go from the 0.1 liter per minute 
set point to a three liter per minute set point for the gas flow into the cell bag. You can now set your CO2 to whatever set point you would like. Once fast fill is enabled, it will fill the bag with your mix of air and CO2. It will only last for 30 minutes and then it will automatically switch off to your designated set point of however many liters per minute you want. Fast fill will also automatically crack the check valve so there is no need to press on the bag. Before adding any media to the bag, you'll click on the weight button and tear the weight so the net weight equals zero. Once that shows zero here, you can click media control where you'll have your control set to media addition and set point to however much volume of media you would like to add into the bag. Right now we're saying it's 0.5 kilograms, which equals 500 mils. We're showing deviation alarms and a flow rate of 75 liters per day. To start that, you'll click on here, and this will turn green, and you'll see the pumps turn on, and that will show that the feed pump here, this line is, or this triangle is going in a circle, and that tells you that the feed pump is on, and the media will start flowing into the cell bag. Once the cell bag has filled with the set point value of media, you can go back into Unicorn and turn on the rocking and temperature control so that your cell bag will, the media will warm up in the cell bag and you will be ready to add your cells into the bag. Once media control has reached its target weight, which can be seen here, you can turn rocking on by clicking on the play button here, as well as the temperature here. You can have your set points to whatever you would prefer. Once media control has completed, the pumps will turn off and you'll see that your weight set point is correct on Unicorn. You can then go ahead and turn off media control by clicking on the circle. You then want to close your cover and enable rocking by clicking the play button and turn on the temperature. You want to have your media rock back and forth at about 37 degrees for at least two hours to infiltrate that media with CO2 and to get it up to temperature. During your cell culture process, after you've added your cells into your cell bag, you'll want to sample that cell bag. The first part of that process is to click sampling on Unicorn. This will have the rocker stop rocking. And you can then go over and grabbing on the top, you'll put the rocker into sampling position. You'll open the cover and you're going to sample from the clave port. You'll take a pre-saturated ethanol wipe and wipe the cover. and then remove the cover. You then take another pre-saturated ethanol wipe and do a quarter turn four times with a new wipe every time. You'll then take another wipe and wipe the top of the clave port. You'll now unpack your syringe connect it to the clave port, and draw up the desired volume of sample. You can then tilt the tray back down and purge the line by pulling up the rest of the sample out of that silicone line. Now remove the syringe. Wipe the top of the clave port once more and put the cap back on. Close the cover and then click the pause button on sampling to continue rocking.